Hey guys, I got a testimony that um, I wanted to share regarding sleep paralysis. Before I was saved, I used to have episodes where I would be dreaming. And then I would wake up, my, my face would be in the pillow. And I'd be suffocating. But I was awake, but my body would not, I could not get myself to move. Like, as hard as I tried. You know, I was like, is this a dream? Like, why can't I move my body? And I would be suffocating. And it would literally happen till I'm like about to pass out. And then I would snap out of it. And it was very strange that this would happen. And I never understood why. And ever since I got born again, that sleep paralysis went away. And I also want to give a testimony. When I first got saved, I used to read the Bible. Um, I, I would listen to the Bible on YouTube. There was a, uh, they would read the Bible and you, they would let, it would scroll through. So you could not only, I could read it and I could hear it. So I, could, I felt like that was a great way for me to learn. I, I felt like I learned quickly um, from doing that. But, but every time I would do it, I would fall asleep. Like I was, uh, you know, my wife, my then girlfriend, now wife, Leslie, would come and find me passed out with the Bible app playing on the television. And, and it never failed. I would always fall asleep. And I always found it strange that I would fall asleep. It was like a, a deep sleep would come over me. And now being, you know, maturing in my faith, now that has went away. I know that that was a spiritual thing. In the beginning, when you're converting, the Lord, the, the enemy, tries to do everything he can to keep you from the knowledge that's in that book. The Bible is the inspired word of God. And the enemy hates for you to absorb it because it keeps you from his devices from his tactics. You know more about what you need to look out for. Um, it, you know, it says we will not live on bread alone, but every word that comes out of God, God's mouth. And that is the word of God. And it is, it is the way that you can overcome sin by, by jumping into the word, your, your temptations go away. It's the cure for anything. As we, to, for someone who's never been born again, you may find that strange. It's just a book to you. But to us who are born again, it's the actual inspired Word of God, and it, it is a supernatural book. It's alive. The Holy Spirit turns that book on once you have the Spirit teaching you. And I found it interesting, um, you know, when I was doing some research on sleep paralysis, it says, is when you're during awake during awakening or falling asleep, which I find strange, interesting wording in itself. A person is aware but unable to move or speak. During an episode, one may hallucinate, hear, feel, or see things that are not there <laughs> because it's spiritual. Now I never saw any apparitions or anything, but I can I would absolutely one hundred percent believe someone who told me they did because it's a spiritual thing. It's a demonic presence and um, as I kept reading a lot of people that say they were abducted had a sleep paralysis episode before it happened uh, or while it was happening and it says which often results in fear episode generally lasts lasts less than a couple of minutes it may occur as a single episode or episode or be recurrent the condition may occur in those who are otherwise healthy or may run in families it says the condition can be triggered by sleep deprivation psychological stress or abnormal sleep cycles um, treatment options for sleep paralysis have been poorly studied I wonder why it is recommended that people be reassured that the condition is common and generally not serious other efforts that may be tried include sleep hygiene, cognitive behavioral therapy, and antidepressants. Yeah, that's the last thing you need. 
You need Jesus Christ and the Word of God. That's what you need. Because it goes away after you're born again. Between 8% and 50% of people experience sleep paralysis at some time. Sleep paralysis has been described throughout history. Look, it is believed to have played a role in the creation of stories about alien abduction and other paranormal events. Um, so that's where I was going with this. It says in this uh, WebMD sleep paralysis, it says, um, it says rarely is sleep paralysis linked to deep underlying psychiatric problems. Over the centuries, symptoms of sleep paralysis have been described in many ways and often attributed to an evil presence. Unseen night demons in ancient times, the old hag in Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, and alien abductors. Almost every culture throughout history has had stories of shadowy evil creatures that terrify helpless humans at night. People have long sought explanations for this mysterious sleep time paralysis and accompanying feelings of terror. So even WebMD references the evil presence, which I find very interesting. Um, but they also want you on antidepressants, I'm sure. You know, they're going to downplay it um, as a site, you know. Narcolepsy is an overpowering need to sleep caused by a problem with brain's ability to regulate sleep. You know, none of these people know what, they're not going to tell you what the cure is, which is... <laughs> Jesus Christ in the Bible, but you know, they're going to they're going to reference it because it's the truth. That's the truth that it's it's a spiritual thing. Um so if you're if you're suffering from it, I uh I recommend Jesus. <laughs> so I just found this interesting Derek Prince is talking about um falling asleep how the spiritual is the uh what I was talking about earlier, how I used to fall asleep in the beginning of my walk. Listen to this. Demons make you go to sleep. There's a spirit of slumber. It's referred to both in the Old and the New Testament. Have you ever considered that you can sit up till 2 a.m. watching something that you probably shouldn't have been watching on the television? But if you decide to read your Bible, Sorry, I had to restart it. Have you ever considered that you can sit up till 2 a.m. watching something that you probably shouldn't be watching on the television? But if you decide to read your Bible, you go to sleep in 10 minutes. Is that right? That's not natural. There's something there that doesn't mind your watching television. In fact, probably wants you to watch it. But does mind your reading the Bible or praying. All right, those are some activities of demons. The main area that they affect, I believe, is mo emotions and attitudes. And behind every negative emotion and attitude, there is a corresponding demon. That doesn't mean you've got the demon, but that means that the demon's there trying to get you. For instance, you can get angry, and it's not a demon. It's just you. It's your flesh. But if you get angry and can't control yourself, and get angry when you don't want to get angry, that's a demon. And another thing about demons is they operate in gangs. When one gets in, it opens the door for the next. And if you find certain demons, you can always look for their friend. So I found it very interesting what he was talking about with the... Uh being a spiritual thing because that used to happen to me all the time. I would fall asleep every time I'm studying the Bible. And it's that very reason. When you're in the beginning, the enemy, you know, in the even in the beginning I was like Sorry, having all all kinds of interruptions on this video. You must not want me to make it or something. But um I used to have, you know, all 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 the time, it would try to keep me from learning the Word of God. People underestimate the power of the Word of God. You know, and it says here in Genesis 2.21, And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. You know, that reminds me of the show Westworld. 
I was going to do a video on Westworld, how they're the host bodies. I feel like there's a lot to that show that is reality. How they created a a uh, false world where people could sin. You know, like the fallen angels coming here to sin, to have sex with human women. You know, the they would put the, the host bodies in this movie, in this show, Westworld. The host bodies would just shut down and put, it into, put them into a deep sleep. We are the... We are the host bodies. That's why he's called the Lord of Hosts. You know, we're just host bodies for spirits. You know, good spirits are bad. You know, and I found that uh, that interesting. You know, it says, you know, Luke twenty two thirty one, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not, and when thou are converted, strengthen my br thy brethren. And he said unto him, Lord, I am ready to go with thee, both into prison and to death. So he was he was telling him that Satan was going to test him and, and to sift him like wheat. You know, once you're born again, the battle begins, and you start to <laughs> you start to experience things that you've never experienced before in your life. Things that make you sound crazy to those who haven't experienced it. But but Satan wants you to fail. He wants to, to steer you off course. He wants you to uh, fall back into sin. He wants you to um, not read your Bible. He wants you to find other things to occupy your time, like Netflix and basketball and football and baseball. And anything other than reading your Bible, praying, and having a true relationship with God. And so I just wanted to make this for those who are, you know, having trouble reading their Bible or, you know, things are coming against them. You know, there's a reason behind it sometimes that we don't, don't fully understand until we've, uh, you know, matured in our faith. I still have, you know, a long way to go myself. But as you continue to mature the Lord continues to teach you things and you, you begin to think about things from your past like what well, wow maybe that was why that happened you know why doesn't that happen anymore well you know I don't fall asleep when I read my Bible anymore and I don't get attacked in my sleep with sleep paralysis so God bless you I'll talk to you soon